go to Amazon KDP. The first step is going to be signing into your Amazon KDP account with an existing Amazon account if you don't already have an Amazon account. Make sure to do that before moving on. The next screen is going to be the user agreement. Make sure to fully read through this before selecting agree. After agreeing, you'll be prompted with the screen and may notice that not all of your account information is complete. Let's make sure to fill in the rest of that necessary information or else Amazon may not allow you to publish your book after uploading. For this video, we will be going through the exact steps to creating a Kindle ebook. However, depending on your needs, make sure to select the proper selection here, either Kindle ebook or paperback. On the Kindle ebook details screen, you will be prompted with this page. We will first select the language our book is in. Under book title, we will type in our book title and subtitle. There is one. The series section is only necessary if your book is a part of a series. If this does not apply, you can leave it blank. An edition number is only if you're uploading another rendition of a previously published book under author. Make sure to type in your name or your pen name here for contributors. This includes any other authors, editors, illustrators, publishers, or anyone else that you may want to highlight. For helping out with a book for description, you would enter in your book's description here. Publishing rights is where you will select whether or not you own the book or if it's a public domain. Most of the time, you will choose the first option, which is where you own the publishing rights. The keyword section is incredibly important. Here you have the ability to tell Amazon exactly what phrases you'd like them to show your book on their store when somebody searches for your book. If you do this right, Amazon will show your book to more customers, and if you don't do this right, Amazon won't help you to make sales. Next is Categories. Here you will have to select two categories for your book. Age and grade range is mainly for authors who are publishing children's books. Make sure to select the proper range if this applies to you. Lastly is pre-order. Make sure to select this option that fits your needs when it comes to your release date. And whether or not you want readers to be able to pre-order your book. Once you're complete with this page, make sure to hit save and continue and will be brought to the Kindle ebook content page. This is where you will be uploading a manuscript. Under the Manuscript section, you select Yes or No for Digital Rights Management section. If you are unsure as to what this is and need a bit more information over the blue text here in Amazon description will appear. I typically choose No, but that's up to you. In this section, we will also be uploading our manuscript by selecting the Upload eBook Manuscript button here. Kindle eBook Previewer gives us the option to launch the previewer and see what our book looks like on Kindle or through the Kindle app. Make sure to use this tool when uploading. So as to check yourself and ensure there are no outstanding errors when uploading your work. The ISBN section is where you're going to type in your book's ISBN number. Once you're done, make sure to hit save and continue. So, as to move along to the Kindle ebook pricing page, if you're unaware of what KDP Select is, I'd recommend learning a bit more about it before choosing whether or not you want to enroll your book into it. I typically choose to enroll my books in KDP Select, especially in fiction. Maybe not so much in non-fiction, however, there are pros and cons to choosing either way. Territories is where you will select which territories you want your distribution rights to be held. The royalty and pricing section is very important and may require some research to ensure that you are pricing your book properly. Select the royalty plan you wish to use and type in your book's price here. Book blending is where you can select whether or not your ebook can be lended to another family user at no cost to them. If there is some account information missing at any point during your upload process, you will see a warning sign here go back and correct or fill that information before publishing. In most cases, it can take up to 72 hours for Amazon to publish your book live. Make sure to check your email, as that is where Amazon will contact you once your book is ready and published. And once it's published, be sure to check your Amazon sales page to verify that everything looks good and uploaded correctly, and then you like it and don't forget that after it's published. Be sure to follow those steps so as to immediately add more categories for your book so that you have the best chance of hitting bestseller even faster.